Good morning, everybody. It's 4.28 a.m. and we're gonna get ready to surf. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I've had four really bad surf sessions in a row where I surfed like donkey doo-doo and I just feel really bad about myself. But that's why I decided to record and bring my camera along today because I need a redemption arc or else I'm gonna lose it. If you surf, you understand the feeling. Sometimes you just go out there and you just cannot surf or you just get abused by the ocean. If today isn't the day where I have a little bit of a better surf session, then I'm I'm gonna have to check in to my therapist. That's how bad it is. I'm making a little liquid IV. Every morning I do this. Okay, better. So we just got to Trestles. I was just thinking about this, but I've had a few days where I've not been able to serve that well. And I wonder if it's because the walk at Trestles is pretty long, it's like 30 minutes. I wonder if it's because I'm getting so tired from the walk before I even surf that I can't even surf. So I have my e-bike today and it's a little pain in the ass to haul it around in my car and then set it up, but it should be worth it because it's a pretty brutal walk. It's a pretty brutal walk. This view is quite spectacular though, wow. So basically, if you guys don't know, this whole beach is trestles, but there's uppers, lowers, middles. So based on that, we're gonna go to lowers, which is over there. Guys, we're being swarmed! Fuck! Are you handing it to you? Yeah, I'm handing it to you. Fuck! Jesus Christ. What is going on? Okay, um, hi guys. We're at Trestles. We just got here. The waves look small, but they look fun. I haven't seen a set yet. This is Kian. Say hi, Kian. Hi. There's mosquitoes. <laughs> Sorry, we're just trying to fight the mosquitoes off, but they burn through like when the sun comes out. So we're just gonna suffer for a little bit. So like I was telling my vlog, I've been having four days of mediocre slash mid surfing. And today's my redemption arc. You know what I did today, Ryan? No, I'm not sure. Okay, well, there's a couple things I did to prepare. First, I slept seven hours. Ooh. Second thing, I biked here, so conserved energy. Third, on the drive here, I visualized my surfing. Yes. And yesterday, I went, fuck. I surf skated for an hour just to get the mechanics down, so I'm a whole new bitch. Locked in. I'm so locked in, Ryan. You don't even know. But I should not say all this. Maybe I should just let my serving speak for itself. Yeah, it's called being humble. I'm um, working on that with Jade. <laughs> yeah, you're taking a lesson about being humble for me? No, no, I'm teaching you. No, Ryan, you need to be humble too. No, no, no. <laughs> so your girl dropped a bag for the content because um, in about a few days, me and Ryan are going to the Maldives. So I bought this. What? <laughs> a 70 to 350 millimeter lens but with the crop of this camera it'll be around 500 millimeters oh my god all right i'm gonna go suit up fight off these mosquitoes oh my god and then if i don't get good waves then i'll cry most likely today's the day Caught around six, seven waves. Now we're taking a break on the beach. It's currently 7 a.m. I find that I surf better when I take a break, look at the waves, and then come back. Because right now I feel like I'm falling so much and it's really frustrating because it's like I'm really trying to push the rail more, do better turns, but I'm falling way more. And in general, I'm just like sometimes not getting the wave. <laughs> Before, when I would get frustrated, I wouldn't take a break. I would just like beat myself in the water. But now I'm really trying to make an effort to take a break reflect, talk to Ryan, my coach, and like really have a plan. So I just got back from the surf 
and I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little concerned that there's not that many good waves of mine. Even though I feel frustrated, I know I have to go through this to do better turns. And right now I'm going to the coffee shop um, to analyze the footage with Ryan. So you guys are gonna see like what exactly I'm working on, but I'm trying to do better top turns, better bottom turns, and because I'm trying to increase the speed, increase like the motion, I'm falling more because it's like I'm taking a bit bigger risk. All right, let's go to the coffee shop. Yeah, you want, when you bottom turn, you need to put your left hand front side in the water because that's like your pivot point. Yeah. Got it. Left hand in the water. Yeah. That? Yes. Okay. Oh, okay. Wait, oh! <gasps> <laughs> so clear. I'm like Jay is looking where she wants to go. She's starting to do that a lot better. But like you're, I'm looking look, down. You look down. Like you're un, it's like you're unsure of where your feet are gonna go. <laughs> Jump scare. So I just got back from surfing and I took a shower. I wanted to show you guys my after surf care routine. I'm pretty harsh on my skin with being in the sun, salt water for a few hours a day. So I just washed my face with my favorite skincare product of all time. So this is the Lancer Skin Cleanser. It's meant for dry and sensitive skin, which I have. And if you have problematic skin, this is so gentle and it cleans your skin so well. It's on the pricier end, but I have used a bunch of different cleansers and this one is the best ever. So I wash my face with that. Then I use this face mask. It's from the Blue Lagoon. It's called the Silica Mud Mask and it's why my face looks so scary right now. This has been on my face for around 10 minutes. So I'm gonna take it off. Whoa! Now I'm using this Kiehl's eye cream. I feel like the salt water dries out my eye area specifically a lot, so this helps re-nourish that skin. Next, I use the Topicals Brightening Serum. That much of product, and I apply it on my acne scars. I don't know why my skin has been breaking out on my cheeks, but like weird areas, like just here on my smile lines, like, <laughs> Why? Why is that the case? This is the moisturizer I use. It's the Lancer Nourishing Moisturizer. This is so hydrating and not greasy. It's so good. And last but not least, I'm using this hydrating oil on my face. Really lock in the moisture. And I use Laneige on my lips. And this is my finished skincare routine. I do the mask only once a week, but everything else I do on a daily. Also, if you're wondering, this is my skincare cabinet. I think it's really cute. Start by finding a comfortable position. So good morning, it's 8 a.m. the next day. I just finished journaling and I love to do this every day if I can. When I surf trestles, I can't because I have to wake up so early. I was like really just proud of how I've approached my surfing in just the past week. I know it's just Tuesday, so we're not even halfway through this week, so this could change drastically soon. Yesterday when I came back in the water after being frustrated with my surf, and took a deep breath and like really tried to give myself positive reinforcement and i went out there and had a few fun waves like i really am proud that like i'm growing as a surfer but also as a person and surfing has really taught me how to be more gentle on myself and patient and it's just awesome <laughs> i love surfing and i'm just feeling very grateful that my mindset has shifted slowly i mean i'm not perfect um there's a chance in this vlog i might have a mental breakdown again but for now, I think I'm making improvements on at least the way I approach my session, okay? Like, coming back in for me, taking a break, and then going back out is a huge step for me. I never do that, usually. So we're celebrating small wins, and I'm just so grateful for you guys who are watching this video. I was also just journaling, like, I'm so grateful that this community we have here uh, exists. Like, the Dharma Nation, which is you guys, mean everything to me. Without you guys, I wouldn't be able to surf. I wouldn't be able to have this career in social media. I know that sounds really cringe, but like I do this for work. So like, what the actual heck? Thank you guys so much. If you want to join the Dermination, just like this video and subscribe and you'll be a part of the fam. I like to work out and train at least once a week because I'm trying to surf bigger waves and having the upper body and core and cardio for it is quite crucial. So I'm a little too embarrassed to record myself at the gym and talk. So I'm just gonna record clips and then do a voiceover later. But I'm gonna show you my new board. Oh, this is her. 
This board is my new Step Up Surfboard 6.0 by Crescent Shapes. Crescent Shapes is my current surfboard sponsor. So thank you, Greg. He made me this 6.0 Step Up board so I can surf bigger waves because my regular board's 5.8 and that's great. But when the wave is like over six feet, you really want to have more paddle power. And when I was in Hawaii, like two months ago, I was struggling to get into bigger waves because the board was too small. So this is going to basically help me send it. Honestly, I'm a little nervous to surf this board because that means I'm going to have to paddle into some scary waves, but this is going to be perfect for the Maldives because I mean, it's such a sick shape, pretty modest in the rocker. As you can tell, I haven't even set this board up. There's no wax. There's no tail pad. I'm going to make a video about that later on my YouTube and Instagram shorts. A lot of people like the logo, but a lot of people didn't like this like abstract design. But I like it, okay? Like, tell me this does not look like a cool sea monster. It's definitely a more acquired taste, but I I like it, okay? I actually genuinely like it. I was a little bit nervous when I was painting it because it kind of looked ugly, but then I was like, wait a minute, this looks kind of sick. And if you're looking for a new surfboard, check out Crescent Shapes on Instagram. Tell him that Jade sent you. He truly cares about each surfboard. He takes so much detail and will make you a custom board if you guys are looking for one. So thank you, Greg. Okay. Let's go to the gym now. I really like Y's and T's for shoulder mobility and just warming your muscles up. I learned these workouts from trainers or people who have given me feedback. So the next thing I do is duck dive push-ups, and this is so good for surfing. It just really trains your upper body to duck dive. And then I'm doing pull downs. Again, good for your shoulders, back muscles, I think. <laughs> I'm not an expert. And then I did some Bosu ball app rolls. I find this is actually super useful for surfing to help with that core stability. And then dumbbell press. I've been doing these a lot more to help with shoulder stability and strength. So yeah, that's it. I ate breakfast, did some work, and now we're gonna open some packages I got for the Maldives. Let's do it together. As you guys know, I got the step up board, which basically means my goal is to surf bigger waves. And what's inside of here is gonna be helping me get there. We got surf helmets. Fuck yeah. They sent me two sizes because I don't know what size I am. <laughs> Thank you so much, Simba, for sending this to me. Ooh. This is very, very sleek. Guys, tell me why larges are low-key tight on my head. I don't think I'm a medium, but we'll see. So this is a large. Yeah, there's no way I'm a medium. The mediums fit, but my ears are crushed, so I think I'm a large. Okay, what else did I get here? I got two tail pads for my new surfboards coming in. This one's for the Mazu. This one's for my other surfboard I'm getting. This one's a high tail kick pad, which basically means when your foot is up on this part, it has a bit more of a kick, so you can do more turns. Anyways, I'm so stoked for these. Also, we got a package from Coco Notes. <gasps> Wait, that's cute, Coco Notes. And they have these like coconut oats. That tastes really yummy. It's just really cute because 10% of proceeds are donated to Lahaina, which is the part of Maui that got burned down. Go check them out, guys. Cocoa Notes. If you ever see them, go grab them. They're adorable. And they taste really yummy. We just arrived at breath training. I'm going to show you guys what I do to get ready for training. First step is I use a shit ton of aquaphor on my face and neck so I don't get crusty dusty. Oh, it's chilly. I know. We're screwed, guys. Is everyone doing full wetsuit or what's the vibe? I'm still going Farmer John until I absolutely can't. Me too, anymore. yeah. Second thing I do is I use a little bit of a conditioner in my hair. I've been doing this like recently just because my hair has been feeling so dead lately. And this just helps keep it hydrated. This is from the brand Ebb Ocean Club. And it's also reef safe, which I like so I can take it surfing. All right, you ready, Claire? Claire has not been to training in like over three months. We're gonna switch to the GoPro and I'll see you guys in class. I'm gonna be honest and show you guys all the work I have to do at breath training. This is the first one. We did this treading water drill where you have to tread water while holding this heavy bucket over your head with these small holes. And the only way you stop holding the bucket is when you're done with all the water inside, which takes a while. I think we did this for like 15 minutes. <laughs> and then next we did this one breath hold swim. I had fins to help me get through the other end, but this was still hard, okay? You can see my spotter is above floating just to make sure I don't pass out because this is some serious stuff. And honestly, I was so shook when I made it to the other side. 
<laughs> Sorry, that was my friend laughing in the background. Anyways, the next workout we did was the free dive line where you pull yourself from one end of the pool to the other. This one is actually easier just because you're not using as much energy with the swimming and kicking. But still, this was so hard and I almost wanted to pass out. But I'm so glad I do these trainings because I'm so much more confident now in the ocean. How was breath training today? It was good, it was hard. 10 out of 10. It's 9 p.m. right now and I have to be up at 5.30 to go surfing. Wow. You still have eight and a half hours. Yeah, would you just simmer That's down? Not complaining. Oh yeah. Okay. Thank you. So it's a little closing out and um but no, there's definitely corners. Good morning. Kian, this is this is G Moon. G Moon. Hey, this is nice Kian Kian. This is the legend of uh, Huntington Beach. Well, yeah, all right. I'm honestly embarrassed to show the footage from the surf session. I, it literally made me want to cringe so bad. I don't know what happened. I, I know how to surf, but this particular day, I was just in my head getting so frustrated and you can visibly see it. Like, I'm so stressed. What? You're killing it. I am? You got two good lives. I am? Just don't stand up so tall. Like, when you pump, like Okay, we're gonna go back out now. I'm gonna put a smile on my face and have fun. positive is I got to hang out with Kian Saint. My positive is I got to hang out with Also just gonna let you know Ryan that I found something to be positive for like actually I was able to regroup still go back out there even though I was frustrated and I did that like three times so I'm yeah. really proud that I did that I tried my best <laughs> <laughs> 